just like Drake said, we don't do the mids. Thank you so much. Thank you. But here is the grand. What should I say, grandma? <coughs> Mommy. It's my birthday. Guess what, guys? Today is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. So yesterday was an eventful day. We spent majority of the day in ER, Diamond and I. But today yesterday, is my birthday. Yesterday, it was my, yesterday I was sick. I had a minor, minor head, head I had a minor head injury, but I'm okay. I have a minor head injury, but I'm okay. That's right, cause you're strong. Mommy! Here are my girls. Hey, pretty girl. I still have to do her hair, but she has on a cute Lily Pulitzer dress. What was this? Lily Pulitzer X Target. Evie is not dressed, but she has a Lily Pulitzer dress on to today. Hers came from Nordy's. Diamond has on a cute little Nordy's two piece. If, if you, if you're my friend, subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm. And then mommy is also rocking a Target maxi today. I actually ordered it online and I liked it a lot. It came in the mail like two days ago and I liked it a lot. So I'm going to just wear it today. But today, um, we're not really doing anything special. I just received a package in the mail. Of course, something I bought for myself. And it's these cute Dior slides. So I should have bought the bag too. It looks so cute. I pulled out stuff to make breakfast for the kids. I was gonna do some, whoop, I was gonna do my cinnamon roll waffles, which is a go-to for the kids. So I am officially 30. I am hanging out. Hi, look what I got guys, and look what I did. I finally unboxed her. This is the multi pouche I got a lot going on guys but I think this is called the multi pouche from um, Louis Vuitton you guys know I bought this a couple of weeks ago I'm that person that like I knew my birthday was coming oh isn't that so sweet this couple's getting into their car and the girlfriend is the driver but the man actually went to the driver's side to open her door for her I don't think I've ever seen a man like open the door for his girl on the driver's side thinking the passenger seat but that was so cute but anyways um i am out by myself it is peaceful it is quiet out on stream i'm at nordstrom now um babe asked me what i wanted to do for my birthday and i just wanted peace and quiet have time to hear myself think um i was able to install my wig but then i got lazy and did not feel like curling it so he gave me some money. He bought me a bag when we were in Newport. We did go birthday shopping in Newport. Uh, he told me to get whatever I wanted from Neiman and I picked out a YSL bag and he was like, you want something else? Are you sure you're sure? I did want to go into Louis Vuitton and get like a perfume and maybe see if they had some SLGs. Um, but the line was pretty long. So today I said I wanted to just go to Sephora, take the kids. He took the kids and just I just want to have a peaceful day out by myself. So he gave me some money to go to Sephora. This is my Sephora money, so I'm not gonna all spend it there. And I have a hundred dollars in here. This is Cody's pedicure money. She was getting pedicures before the pandemic happened. But I'm gonna put all of my cash here. This is so ghetto. I don't really like cash anymore. I feel like it feels ghetto for some reason. So I'm actually gonna deposit that and just use my debit card. But um yeah, I also want to make a big purchase, a big big girl birthday purchase. I also got my Dior slides. I did next day on these. I bought these two days ago. I did next day, and they got here this morning. They were here before I woke up, babe. Um, um, got them from the, you know, FedEx or whoever it was. But I bought those. I had that and the book tote in the cart, and I was like, well, what if I want to get a Chanel bag? I can't get a Chanel bag and a book tote. So I did next day on the slides. I'm so in love with the slides. I did get a size 39 so that they fit comfortably even though I'm a 38. And I am glad I did that because I made a mistake with my Hermes sandals. Um, and I got a 38.5 and I should have got a 39. Anyways, I'm rambling and this is my birthday and I am just sitting in the car. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go to Chanel first because I want to make a Chanel purchase. Mom. Look at my cupcakes for my babies. They yeah. also got me some edible arrangements thanks to daddy. Look at this sweet man. You're welcome. 
they got me edible arrangements so we've already done been through this if you watch my stories on instagram you've seen us have a field day and we also got some of these the funny thing is these came with candles and babe forgot to get candles so now he repurposed them for my stuff for my cake uh-huh we're Two, super three, go. happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to mommy. Happy birthday to you. Okay, guys, so I really didn't come back after I got to the mall, but, you know, it's the end of the day now. The kids have just sang happy birthday with daddy to mommy, and I am so appreciative. Cody had on a really cute Lily Pulitzer dress today, but I didn't even get a picture because she had an accident on the way home, but they are enjoying some cupcakes. Mommy did <laughs> some minor damage. Um, I told you guys that I was going to get a purchase from Chanel. So I could have vlogged, but I honestly just didn't think about it. And then this was an online order. We were supposed to do a birthday dinner tonight. I gave Dominic a little bit of fruit and a piece of cake, but she's not really into it. She still has on her Lily. She still has on her Lily Pulitzer dress. It survived the day with Daddy. And her one balloon is still going strong. So all in all, I had an amazing birthday. Daddy um, just wants to go pick us up some crab to go because honestly, having two pounds of crab with some fried oysters is even better than having, yeah. um, you know, a sit down dinner. Even though that would have been good too. And this is my babies. If you guys are my friends, please subscribe. <laughs> Ooh, la la. I love my girls. And do this. Uh uh. That's enough. You're going to fall down these stairs. And this and this and this and that. And that. Oh, snap. And that. Because I got this water bottle. This water. Because okay. I have no. Because I have water in it. Have water. Water eat. Water eat. I did it. You always drink water when you go to sleep. But I only do this and put it inside. And we are back. It's quiet as hell in my house. So I'm gonna take a minute and show you guys what I got for my birthday. Um, I just made myself a hot, fresh cup of coffee. Coffee muff from Anthro. I actually re remade my coffee because of course coffee got cold making the kids breakfast and stuff. I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod or at least try to. So here I have everything that I got for my birthday. Um, I already showed you guys the Balenciagas here they are but i did a whole video on these as well as my prada bag um i don't know where the prada bag is so i don't think i'm gonna show that but i got these and as you guys seen in that video if you haven't watched it i did an unboxing i thought i ordered pink and they were the yellow i am showing you guys some really pricey stuff and i want you to guys to understand that i started buying stuff for myself for my birthday um a month ago and this is it like once i do this as i'm vlogging with you guys i'm gonna take you on a financial journey financial journey because i do want to purchase a home next summer and property here in california is pretty expensive so basically babe and i went through the steps with my dad he is a realtor he also has built homes from the ground up so we kind of went through the steps with him he told us everything we needed to do um i do we did already clear up our credit. So literally, um, the only thing on our credit is like the stuff that we buy. Like I charged my Chanel bag uh, yesterday and I'm gonna pay it off before the end of the month because I wanted to use my Nordstrom charge card to get the rewards and I did. I got like $300 in um, Nordstrom notes, which means I can go and buy a pair of shoes. Anyways, I am on a financial journey. We are uh, planning to buy a home next summer. So we've already paid off everything from our credit. We don't own anybody except for like our cars and stuff like that. We both have good credit, but I'm trying to get it to like excellent. So that is what the journey we are on so that we can get the best possible interest rate for our home. Also, real estate in California is pretty expensive. When we go in and look at homes, which we've done during the pandemic and we find what we want and we, you know, 
and all the bells and whistles that appeal to us especially because we work from home and have to have home offices what we want as far as real estate goes in a good district uh school district for our kids is like 1.5 million like we'd be lucky to find what we want for a million and even when we find stuff under that it's kind of like a, a, a project where we'd have to like you know renovate and all of that so i'm just telling you guys this as a pre um sensor for what i'm about to show you guys that um we are on the right track to become homeowners i know that you guys whenever you see guys spend money like this you're like why don't you have a home trust me we were this close to buying a home during the, the pandemic but it is very hard to get a mortgage over a million dollars during a pandemic um and get the best interest rate so instead of rushing into that we did decide to renew our lease where we are uh take the time to come with uh excellent credit instead of good credit um cash so that we can have a really nice good down payment because at the end of the day we want to be able to afford our mortgage even in a bad season um but yeah, we're on the right track. So I just wanted to say that. So since I said that I did buy Diamond some Da Vinci slides, I just accidentally grabbed this box because I had a bunch of stuff on the stairs. I don't think they're here, but he already had the black Da Vinci slides with the, the white writing. But they were like an 11 or a 12, and he is now a 13 going into a 1. His foot was hanging out of the back, so I did buy those for him. Also, we all got fresh Air Forces. show you guys mine but i did get all air forces all except for daddy he does not not like air forces so hopefully when he sees us all in them he's like oh i want some and i'll be able to get him some but i did not buy him any because i just refused to buy him a pair literally for him to not wear them but you know some regular air forces i do wear a size seven in women i actually haven't tried these on but these are a size seven in women so hopefully fit i'll try them on of course dominic got a pair and i think i got her two or three i got her a three she's still kind of like a two or, but it's pretty small and then Dom cody i got her a nine so i gotta make sure those fit because she's like a nine ten and then i got diamond 13 he's like a 13 one so i'm gonna make sure everybody fits especially because i'm gonna customize them and i'm gonna share you uh share the um tutorial on how i do it here on youtube so by the time this video comes up this video should be out as well but i did buy the crystals plenty of crystals in different sizes and then i got the glue so stay tuned for that video on how i do that now obviously i'm not going to do that to diamonds i'm only going to do that to me and the girls the next thing i got is from louis vuitton um you guys actually got two things i got three things from louis vuitton you guys seen the mini pochette that i got um in the last luxury haul i also got the multi pouche multi pouche multi pouche so i always think about my pieces and how i'm gonna gift them to my girls they'll be able to inherit these like when they get in high school um you know and older as adults they'll be able to wear all of my stuff how cool when like cody's in high school her rocking this and bringing it back with a lv strap now the lv strap i don't think she'll be able to put this on it but i think that'd be cute even when i want to go out at night this bag here on the chain is super cute to match it i did buy a pair of lv boots now it's hard to find stuff in stock on lv sometimes so i bought pretty much what was in stock they do have a new pair of chunky boots um that i really 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 like so i am planning on returning these we were supposed to have a birthday dinner um for me or babe had planned a birthday dinner for me yesterday but it just kept getting canceled so you guys know how i am i'm a i'm a believer in signs and vibes and all of that so if you try two and three times to get a reservation and it keeps getting canceled and you still are persistent and you find somewhere to go i just think that you won't enjoy it um it'll be a bad experience maybe a scary experience or anything like that and i don't like to think and manifest those things but you know if you are getting resistance don't keep you know pushing so we had crab leg at the crib everybody was safe and we were good so like i really 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 do love these i haven't even tried them on 
but I don't wear heels that often and that's why I liked this heel I didn't want to go and wear like a six inch Louboutin to dinner knowing that I don't wear heels knowing that I need to practice I also feel like maybe it would be better if I go with the flat boot that they have or the new boot they came out with the chunky heel on it this next shoe is going to be a staple so i got the green shoes that are going to be a staple for my fall winter wardrobe and then i got these i think these only came in women and kids and they kind of have like a faux like snake skin in the black and this is actually my favorite Jordan if I ever became a collector of Jordans it would be the Jordan ones I actually had to order these on stock X um, and they are I believe high tops because like Drake said we don't do the mids I did see that kids for locker still has these on the site um, so I think I'm gonna get these for all three kids and babe already has some similar to this so again I'm thinking of aesthetic everything that you see here again I'm trying to make my money work for me I do want to monetize my Instagram and gain more subscribers there um, not subscribers followers there and even if it's not just for the followers I just like a good fun feed so I want to be able to have some fun content there with the kids why wasn't I I call myself putting the camera on a box, but it's actually better right here. So, okay, so you guys seen, again, I opened a lot of this stuff. I wasn't planning on doing this, but because I did not finish the birthday vlog yesterday, I thought I would turn it into a mini haul. So here are the Prada shoes that I bought. I bought these on Nordstrom, and I bought these to go with the Prada re-edition, which is the bag that you guys seen in my last luxury haul. Really, really, really do love these. Now, they are thick sole and they are kind of heavy, but I really do like them. Next up, I got the Dior. Dior, Dior. Christian Dior, Dior. So, I bought these in the Oblique. So, these are the Dior sandals. Um, and their packaging is really nice. I did pay, I think, $35 to get them overnight. And they did come morning, and they came with two dust bags. As I said in the last video, some shoes come with one dust bag. Some with come with two. These come with two, and I think these would be really cute to make into masks. And probably not white. So these are probably going to be my go-tos for the next couple of days. And then, I got so much stuff. And then next up, this was actually from Babe. He got me a Saint Laurent bag. We actually went to Newport, and then we went into the Neiman at Fashion Island Mall. And he said, go crazy, get what you want. Again, it was me, him. I think I have the footage still. Um, me, him, the kids, and his sister. So, um, my intentions were to go crazy. But honestly, it's extremely awkward to shop when you have people. Like, even though we were all there and, like, my intentions were to shop and I had full permission to get what I wanted, I just kind of feel awkward, like being the only one buying and looking and shopping so i did find a bag we went into chanel and i found the bag of my dreams it was 7100 but again it just felt like ridiculous at that moment like what are you doing so i kind of wanted to be a little bit more modest with my purchase so i did go for the ysl i believe this is the kate Yes, it's the medium Kate bag with the tassel. Now, this is a classic bag. I'm pretty sure we've all seen our favorite bloggers and vloggers with this bag. But I just did not own um, a nice, really classy bag that I could literally just wear with like heels. Um, it's fun with sundresses. You can wear this with your MAs slides and a cute little sundress. And honestly, there's a good amount of space in there. You guys know I like the crossbody bags that I can wear. These are what I'm obsessed with. And this is also a timeless piece that I feel like five years from now, as long as I keep it in excellent condition, I can still wear it, you know, on a date night or whatever. And you also guys know that I love my YSL, um, what do you call it, card holder. I've been wanting to get other card holders um, from different designers. But honestly, at the same time, I haven't wanted to just because I love the YSL one so much that I feel like I'm not going to want to uh, wear them. I also got this YSL heel. Um, I didn't realize when purchasing this that the heels are like a more 
brushed gold or brass I'm not really even sure what you would call this color but it's not the bright gold gold so honestly it doesn't even match it goes but it doesn't match I've never worn these before even though it may look like it um, and I got these in a 38 and a half so this is a vibe and you can definitely wear it together again I love this with a cute little cocktail dress little fun dress um but yeah I'm just now seeing them together for the first time and just realizing they don't it's not the same gold not sure if that's gonna bug me or not but I do already still have like my packaging and receipt for this I did get these from Nordstrom so we'll see if I keep these or not I'll let you know everything I bought I'll keep you guys updated I won't leave you in the dark um I've seen everybody has been on trend with getting the Hermes bags I've even seen a lot of like stylists and Instagram I guess you call them Instagram stylists or personal shoppers that have been able to um post like quote unquote brand new Hermes bags on their Instagrams for sale uh and I've contemplated the idea of getting one of those but I realized that I want to go in order and what I mean by that is I have Louis Vuitton I have Prada I have you know all the other bags that I ever wanted but going to Chanel is a step up and then going to Hermes in my opinion especially a Birkin a Birkin is what I've been talking about this whole time is like ultimate and so I don't want to go and buy a Birkin from somebody off of Instagram and I don't even have a Chanel. Babe did give me money yesterday as I told you guys to go makeup shopping and so instead of going makeup shopping I did apply the money actually it's on my floor <laughs> my push it fell but he did give me some cash and he was like you know you can go and buy uh I told him I wanted to go shopping at Sephora so he's like here's some money you can go and buy all your makeup because you know it's makeup is expensive and these are all 20s they're not hundreds not too crazy but I was saying that I was gonna um instead of going makeup shopping I was gonna apply this to this purchase and then also again I got the Louis Vuitton boots so basically in my mind as I was justifying this purchase I was literally like okay if I buy this this will pay it down a thousand that takes it down to 2800 and then I take those boots back that takes it down to 1600 so literally I only spent 1600 on this bag in my mind if I go ahead and you know pay the pay my nurturing bill with this and this and that's kind of how I justified the purchase so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got so this is long overdue and of course this is the box you open it like so and then you have just some plain tissue paper and of course it has the Chanel sticker there and then we're almost there boom, boom, boom. here she is so beneath the bag there is a dust bag like so and of course it just has the Chanel print and I have her upside down Chanel print there and I think this is pretty much the same dust bag that comes with all of my shoes so I'm not gonna open this because again we might be going to upgrade this bag later today but as you guys can see this bag is beautiful okay and so we're gonna go ahead and open her up there are still the stickers around you got a twist to unlock and again I have not opened this bag just yet this is the first time there's some tissue paper in the inside and this is what she looks like in the inside so I wanted to be able to wear this bag cross body and as you guys can see it's the perfect length it sits at my hip and that's why I like it so much but let me tell you I'm a gold hardware kind of girl I've always been a gold hardware I've always been a gold hardware kind of girl so for me I kind of this is the multi multi pouche that I got from Louis Vuitton and then this here is the new Chanel bag 
when I put these sides by side, if I put this in my closet and I decide, hmm, which bag am I going to wear today? I kind of feel like I would always choose this. And that is my dilemma. I love the size of this bag. I love the structure of this bag. I love everything about this bag. But because I don't gravitate towards silver hardware that much, I only see myself wearing this bag if I said to myself, I'm wearing all silver jewelry today. Um... And I want to match the silver jewelry that probably would be the only time I wear this bag and again I do like her but even when I opened the bag for you guys I kind of feel like when I opened it and I see it on the screen it's just very underwhelming and again here's a shot of her on the table like on the table right now she's beautiful in the store she was so beautiful but I just kind of feel like Okay, so when you are at a point when you have five Chanel bags, will you still choose her? And I feel like the answer is maybe. Or do I only love her because she's my only Chanel bag? So now it's like, okay, well, if I do this bag, I'll have to exchange these shoes because I still don't have anything to match these. So dilemma, dilemma. So I keep walking past her. And I just feel like she's not giving. Like, I want you to be able to see it and be like, pop out, sis. What do you guys think? Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Actually, I don't need this bag anymore. Thank you. Okay, guys. So I just got back from shopping. I went to Neiman and I just got a sports bra that matches some pants that I had. But here is the grand daddy. Or should I say grandmama? Because she is a girl. So plan was to come home, do my hair, do my makeup. Because as you guys can see, I'm just looking. Scraggly, I did allow myself a selfie date. I went to Cheesecake Factory and ordered some appetizers and watched uh, part of the beginning of the Paris Hilton documentary um, as a celebratory moment for this year. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it right away. So first of all, of course, when you buy a bag from them, they always put a ribbon and tie it around the handles of the shopping bag. Once you take the ribbon off, she is beautifully inside. What I will say about this bag is that the actual shopping bag, carrying it, is significantly heavier than the other bag that I had that I exchanged this for. But as you guys already know, this is what the box looks like. I feel like once I open it up, there's no going back so I wanted to do this on camera so on top of it there is this pretty flower and more ribbon so I'm just gonna undo it I believe the flower is like a sticky like a sticker to it so you can just pop that off it got this on here pretty tight and I'm getting anxious Baby is on his way home with the kids so I probably have all of 15 minutes to talk my head off as much as I can about this bag before it is good night routine time for me and the kids. Oh. Okay, we're gonna open it together. So of course they put um, this little sticker here, but of course it's not really holding anything back. And this one has black tissue. This one has black tissue paper. The mini had the white tissue paper. Not sure what the difference is. And here is the Chanel dust bag. So this is the Chanel dust bag. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. The mini had um, a regular black dust bag. About and um, yeah, this one has the white. So underneath the bag was this here. And it has two folders. It's like a folder. So on this side or this pocket, there was nothing. There's just this. I'm not sure what it is, but it's there. I'm going to say it's like a felt material. 
Okay, so I believe this is all just a care booklet. So this here was also in there in not quite sure what it is but on the second page you have this here where you can put all about your bag i believe this is french i'm not sure but um you just put your date of purchase here so i might go ahead and do this i am commemorating this bag by um doing this video les sac icon so i'm gonna assume that says the iconic bag les sac icon the bag in production now on to the bag so this here is my baby beauty <laughs> pull them pennies down <laughs> and then this here was on the bag originally this here was on the bag originally and she was like do you want to keep this here and originally i was going to say no because i'm never going to put it back in this i don't think but at the same time i just kind of felt like you know what, I'm paying a lot of money for this bag. Might as well keep it. And then here she is. I'm pretty sure at this point you guys know what it is. So here's a good look at her. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tag. Okay guys, so this is her. This is the Chanel Jumbo double flat bag i have her in the caviar leather with the gold hardware so i'm gonna go ahead and open her up and show you what she looks like inside one thing i will say when i purchased the um or when i went into the store today to do my exchange the bag the shopping bag was super lightweight with the mini but the shopping bag was pretty heavy with this one and um i had to actually carry the bag on my shoulder because it was so heavy um so it definitely makes a huge difference in weight for us to go inside of course you guys already know this stuff but you just turn it here like so you'll be able to open And they do have a piece of fabric in here. I believe this is felt. And as you guys can see, super nice. So this is a double flap. So there are pieces of fabric within each flap. We have some tissue paper and these little fillers that have to keep the bag in its shape. So when you open it, you have a zipper compartment here in that first flap and it kind of goes upside down in the way. So I would probably put like papers in there. If I was traveling, maybe you put your passport here or something like that if you want separated. But once you go here, you are able to actually put some stuff in here. So when I open this first flap, I probably would use this for papers and receipts. Uh, maybe even in here too. But honestly, on a day-to-day -day basis, I probably would not use the zipper or this here. Except, like again, if I had papers and I did not want them to get wrinkled or something like that. Or maybe get any product. You know, I carry sanitizer and lip gloss in my purse. So just to keep it protected, when you open up the second flap when you open it up this is pretty much what you see it has that nice what would you call this color burgundy color and you can see the button here it has the cc embroidered really nicely here below that you have a hot stamp i would call that or a gold stamp and it just says chanel made in italy and then from there Sorry, it's making so much noise. I'm going to tuck this in the back. But from there, you go here and there are two pockets. I'm so sorry about the lighting. There's a pocket here, a pocket here. It's like it could have been one pocket, but they stitched it really nicely so that it can separate. And then, of course, this is my authenticity card, which I'm going to hang on. Something I did not do in the past. And in the center of that, you can see here, like if you had like a lip gloss or a pen or something like that, you can like actually slide it in there. And then here, like I said, I probably would use my SLGs to kind of keep and organize my um, 
personal items but you know of course you can put stuff in here if i'm going from store to store i could easily slide like my id and my debit card in there that way i don't have to keep pulling out my wallet and then from here you have your actual inside so i'm pretty sure i could fit like my pouche my wallet my keys my pouche which will keep like all my personal items in here uh this is definitely mommy's bag but it's not a mommy bag so i probably wouldn't keep too much of the kids stuff in here and then you also have a compartment here so as i start to wear this bag and i get used to this bag and i start to enjoy it i kind of will find my way and see like what i want there what what i want um you know in each section of the bag but i definitely do love the fact that this bag um has so many compartments and sections i do love the fact that the inside is completely leather so it'll be easy to wipe for me this is going to be a forever bag this is the ultimate bag when i think about my dream closet because yes we're manifesting we're gonna uh, purchase a home next year this is the ultimate bag that i see in my closet so again i bit the bullet i am going on a savings spree until the summer i want to save um quite a bit of money between now and, and next summer so i figured i might as well get this bag now so that i have absolutely nothing left on my wish list as far as handbags go although i do want the dr book tote <laughs> in oblique so i might just go ahead and purchase that and get it out of my system there's also a compartment in the back now with this bag i did go with caviar um you can do this in the lamb skin but i think the caviar as um i've seen other people say and even of course the sales associate did uh, mention to me this one um as you like scratch it and stuff like this this one will um hold up a little bit better than the lambskin any scratch you get on the lambskin might be more apparent so you can wear this one in many different ways there is a really long gold chain on it and then of course if you double the straps this is how it sits which I like this too. So the mini was 3,800 and then this one was 7,100 up for course plus tag. We're talking about a $3,000 gap in price, but I just felt like with the mini, um, I felt like that bag was the least uh, whelming or the most underwhelming bag of like what I have in my rotation right now. The only pro to that one was that because it was silver hardware if I was going to wear all silver jewelry that probably would have been my go-to bag like I said because all of my bags have well not really I was telling myself all my bags had silver hardware gold hardware but this one actually has silver hardware and the Prada re-edition has it so I didn't even think of that see I didn't need that bag so I probably would eventually get that bag again in a different color because it's so mini and cute. I think it looks really good crossbody with um, like sundresses and, you know, just fun, quick outing daytime looks. So like I would love that bag in like a pop of pink, a pop of yellow, maybe even a cute little blue, maybe even white. Um, but just in my primary neutral colors and my blacks, I don't think that bag is necessarily necessary. Now, when I think about my five top five Chanel bags that I want and like I said I always draw back and think about when we buy our forever home my beautiful custom closet that I plan on building what bags do I want to see on my shelf and those are kind of the bags that I want to buy um when I buy now like I don't just want to buy a fun bag I'm trying to more so focus on classic bags that I really 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 love like the Balenciaga City I feel like is a classic bag that is very slept on because I don't see many people with the city um but I feel like that's a bag that as long as I keep it in excellent condition, I would keep forever because I personally love the city bags. So I think of myself having like this one in the pink. I see myself having a black one, a white one. Um, I really like the yellow one, which I can't find anywhere. But I see myself having four or five at least of the city bags in my closet just because personally it's one of my favorite um bags to have just in general i love the city more than any other balenciaga bag and then with chanel my top five i would say the jumbo and caviar with the gold hardware which 
check check that off the list i would love to have this exact same bag a jumbo in a tan color that one i would also want in the gold hardware but i think with that one i wouldn't mind if it was lambskin and the reason is i kind of feel like the lambskin tends to look a lot more soft and feminine and with the tan nude color it would look nicer so i would have to see it in the lambskin and in the caviar but i almost think a tan jumbo gold hardware lambskin would be number two on my list of the dream chanel bags that i would like to see in my closet i also want a boy bag in the silver or the gunmetal i also want a um the lunch bag and then a tote but my family's here i gotta go love you guys see you in the next one peace